Hi, it's June 11th, 2015. It's been uh, a few years since I've done an update. I've had some requests, and um, today it, it rained like the Dickens all morning. Um, we're dry enough now to actually get a video going. Um, I didn't go crazy with a different bunch of varieties of things this year. And those of you who have seen uh, previous videos know what I'm talking about. Um, we're pretty early in the season yet, and um, so let me uh, take care of a few chores chores around the, the homestead here, and um, we'll get started. <laughs> start with this uh, mimosa plant, mimosa paducah I think it's called, uh, touch me not, and um, pretty interesting plants, you touch them and they move, out of 40 seeds, this is one of two plants I managed to get to germinate. Could have been my seed supplier. I don't know. It's not edible, obviously, so. But it's a pretty cool little plant. Anyways, let's uh, let's start over in the um, far garlic bed. I'm gonna go from there. We have. Uh, Georgian crystal porcelain garlic. Past few years, um, I think it was five rows of 19. I cut it back to four rows of 18. Spaced them out a little bit more. See if we can get some uh, a little larger garlic than we've had before. Not that they were particularly small, but bigger is better, right? Uh, we're going to be doing escapes here uh, a few more days um, with all the garlic in this bed and the beds up front we pulled eight and eight and a quarter pounds last year we have red onions um, feral cats and raccoons and squirrels we'll have to get in here early on and dig things up and it's their favorite waste depository um, once these little plastic traps go off the first time uh, they pretty much uh, do the trick and I don't have to reset them the string keeps the cats out um, I got 60 60 64 red onions in there I've had chamomile uh, last year, which was uh, quite a trick eradicating out of this bed. And it kept wanting to come up even after I ripped everything out. And uh, I had uh, zucchini two years in a row prior to that. Uh, the chamomile, I did quite well in there. I don't know that I'll ever grow it again. It's rhubarb, I really needs a harvest right now. Um, it's maybe around 35 pounds pulled out of here. Raspberries back here are coming in nice. Uh, some more porcelain garlic. And more porcelain garlic here. Inside we have um, scallions, lemon basil, kale, scallions. Uh, in two different stages here. Um, all the way down I have scallions. It might be hard to see. Um, but I, we eat a lot of scallions. Uh, chop them down about two inches from the base and uh, chop them up and freeze them. I also, toward the end of the year, we'll start pulling them up, throwing them in jars or glasses on the counter with water changing every day and they'll last two three weeks in there and I just eat them. Dill, 
three stages of dill. Uh, I think uh, it was two weeks, two weeks, and two weeks. So there's a month difference between the first and second, and the second batch I don't even think is popped through the soil yet. Uh, Italian sweet basil, cucumbers, two different stages there. There's about a month's difference between the ones on the right and the ones on the left. Two different varieties, uh, market more, and I'm the larger plant. Um, or plants, I believe there's a couple in there. I'm trying the county fair. They're supposed to be resistant to the cucumber beetle. We'll see. Uh, kale. Uh, and more kale in the pot. Now this is a uh, red robin tomato plant that I started under lights down in my basement uh, last October. Um, brought it out when the season got warm here and uh, she's still producing. I've been keeping track of how many tomatoes and I'm at 135 or 136 I believe. I have to look at my chart. Um, but I figured as long as it's as long as it's growing let's keep her going. Sage plant. It's doing well. Um, kept this in the house during the winter and uh, brought her back out. She's ready for harvest. Kentucky kernel Experiment. Um, this is uh, the second one in four or five years. I ended up actually killing my mint plant here maybe last year. I don't ask me how. I, I thought it was impossible. But. And uh, there's two pepperoncinis growing, kind of young. Uh, and then I. Uh, Right here is a uh, jalapeno pepperoncinis. Uh, here's an interesting thing. These three are jalapenos from last year. And I pulled them up, actually pulled this one up, the large one up from the garden, and uh, kept it under lights. And then I cloned these two off of that and produced peppers all winter and uh, brought them up and put them back in the garden. So and there's peppers all over those guys right now. Starting the year out with peppers right off the get-go. It's pretty nice. We have a rosemary taken off there. Parsley down here. Tomato plants. Um, this one here is uh, cherry and then three big beefs. And um, we have over here is uh, celery. This is my elephant garlic. It too is ready to have the escapes popped, cut off here, and uh, we'll be storing those. We cook a lot of escapes. Green peppers in the back row. Uh, coming along, slowly, coming along. Cilantro, lots of cilantro, two stages. There's uh, two or three weeks difference between. They're getting beat down from all this rain we've had, but uh, they're hanging in. I'm going to be making some uh, cilantro chutney here. And my wife just does not like cilantro. That's uh, good for me, I suppose. And uh, you can see down here again the scallions. I don't know if you can make them out. But there really isn't uh, much change from the last few years. made a lot of raspberry jam last year and I uh, ended up with an open spot for whatever reason they just raspberries didn't want to grow in there so I just threw in some wild scallions or scallions to grow wild we'll see what happens uh, I threw some sunflowers back there I should be popping up here some flowers I don't know another month or so and that's about it really much hasn't changed. So thanks for watching and uh, thanks for all your feedback and uh, your kind comments on my previous videos. Bye-bye.